What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. Now today's episode we have the Nike GT Cut 3 with Zoom X and I was bummed out when I found out this did not have a drop in midsole. You can see behind me all them sneakers have drop ins. Almost all these have drop ins and it's just one of my favorite things that they add to a sneaker. It gives us like sneaker nerds like we can nerd out with it you know what i mean it gives us a little bit of tech we can take out of the shoe check out i wish they would have implemented like phylon because i know zoom x is like super super like squishy i just wish they could have added phylon and kind of like they did the kobe nxt 360 ad's i think they were called they use like lunar and relax react on those i'm pretty sure that's what they used but anyways we're gonna get right into this review the sneaker was fairly light for the most part i'm gonna say around i don't know 11 and a half 11.1 so i was fairly close this is definitely a light shoe and it's so well balanced you guys i already told you that in my first review my initial thoughts it definitely is a light sneaker you can barely tell it's on foot so jumping right into the heel Heel comfort feels great. You guys can kind of see that unfinished look, like I said before in the initial thoughts. And the padding felt great. Still, still feels great. Five to ten times on the court later, I had no issues when it came to that. Heel lockdown, I had no, no heel slippage at all. So heel lockdown was great. Heavy duty laces. Love some heavy duty laces. They're oval laces, but you can just tell they have that like rope feel. Like they're going to stay together and not come untied. Down under the tongue, the tongue basically starts here and just goes all the way back. Never ending. Not sure why they decided to do that, but they kind of use this suede type material. And it comes all the way up to here. And the tongue is split. It feels great. Conforms to your foot great. And there's ports all over, but it doesn't matter because nothing's getting out of there. Them are all covered with very, very thick padding that the Nike GT Cut has on the tongue. And the tongue fe still felt great on foot. So down onto materials. Like I said in the initial thoughts, this right here gave me the Sabrina vibes. I actually like the materials on here. They're super, super lightweight. Um, right through here is, it, it does feel a little bit cheap through here, but the embroidery through here, this doesn't feel too bad. I know a lot of people are complaining about that. But that actually feels pretty good for most part. Not sure how long it'll last, but you're not going to take a $190 shoe and go tear it up outside. So indoors, this should last you quite some time. Back here, perforations through this thin mesh. There's tons of perforations through here. It was a fairly breathable sneaker. Just got a little warm in the toe area, but for the most part, I like the materials that they used on the Nike GT Cut 3. Now, down onto cushion. Everybody knows it doesn't have a drop in. We all wanted a drop in. We didn't get it. Maybe on the Nike GT Cut 4, maybe we will get a drop in, but I do not know. But for now, we have Zoom X, and this is feeling like a phylon all around through here very very hard and i think that's because the zoom x is encased inside and the zoom x feels great i love it i think i like it a little bit better than the react i got the pg sixes down there and i think it i like it better than react i never thought i would say that i got the sabrinas over here too and the zoom x does feel better than the sabrina react cushioning now, even in the forefoot, you can still feel a little bit of Zoom X, but it's still a responsive sneaker at the same time. You don't lose all court feel like if there was a Zoom strobel or, or just air strobel in the front. Like You just don't lose all feeling, so I definitely like that. Heel impact protection, top notch. Forefoot still had great response, and you can still feel the Zoom X a little bit. So down on the traction. Traction did collect dust. Not sure if that's going to pick up on camera, but I have tons of dust on this and it still performed great. There wasn't tons of slip outs. I don't even think I slipped out once, um, but I did notice a few times I did have to wipe. So wipe a couple times and you're good to go. The traction is a lot better than the Nike GT Cut 2 traction. For me personally, I didn't really care for the smear technology. I thought it looked dope, but I, I don't think it was like innovative in the sneaker world so on the support and lockdown support and lockdown felt great right here gives you a nice little side to side support i had no issues with support and lockdown foot stayed in that footbed where it was supposed to stay um far sizing i probably could have went down to seven and a half but it still feels good on foot like it doesn't slip or my foot doesn't move front and back or anything like that so i'm not really complaining but if i get another pair i'm probably going to get a size seven and a half so i'm just going to go down half size i have a narrow foot high arch so if you are wondering and you have the same issue might need to go down a half size now down onto my recommendation my recommendations is going to be yes one through five could rock this shoe but i'm not it, it just feels super light and if you're a big and you're putting tons of force and stopping and I, i'm not sure if the materials will will contain you like you would like a sneaker to contain you so i, I would definitely gear this towards the guards the ones twos threes you guys will definitely enjoy the sneaker like i said it does what it it does its job 
has great cushioning, great traction, great impact protection, still got good response in the forefoot, so you cannot go wrong when you're choosing a Nike GT Cut 3 to add to your sneaker arsenal. But as always, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.